Developers Log, Stardate 40198.8. I'm Mitu Kandaker, Commanding Officer of the Game Development Starship The Tiniest Shark, on its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new simulations, to boldly continue developing the game Redshirt. It has been a long, long time since my last transmission. Unfortunately, after the last time I contacted you, I encountered a development workload so large it caused a rift in the space-time continuum. I was sucked through, and after many difficult battles, I've been drifting through space, stranded in the development quadrant. But I found my way out, and my mission, developing Redshirt, is fast approaching completion. Redshirt is a life simulation game about living aboard a future sci-fi space station, where everyone is obsessed with the station's in-game social network, Spacebook. Your character is an insignificant new arrival, so it's up to you to use Spacebook to climb the social and career ladders and escape your otherwise certain doom. So obviously, on arriving on the station, you need to create your Spacebook profile. So here's where you can customise your own character, and then you can begin. So there are a number of different components to the game, which I won't go through in detail today, but I wanted to give you a general overview of how the game works and what it's all about, really. So this is the main screen for the game, um, so you can see the avatar we just created to the right and on the left is the spacebook. So uh, this is the, uh, the news feed where you can read status updates from all the, all the NPCs that you're friends with on the station. Um, you can like their statuses, you can read uh, the station system updates and you can also update your own status too. So I'm just quickly taking you through some of the other features on Spacebook. You've got your friends list, a list of where people on the station are checked in. You can arrange events and get invited to events. Also outside the Spacebook you have the features to do with managing your character. So you have their skills and interests which you can level up. You have the careers panel where you can actually apply for new jobs once you've acquired the right skills or gained enough favour with the boss. And the career tree which shows you what you can aim for. So I just liked my boss Torf's status and he invited me to a Virtuo Augmento deck activity. Um, I'm going to reject that though for now, which he obviously won't like, but never mind. Um, so all the NPCs react dynamically to your actions and also to each other's actions. So all the little choices you make really do matter. So Redshirt really is a game about managing these dynamic social interactions which can happen aboard the station, as well as managing your own character and your work-life balance as a Redshirt. There's a SHOP, or Self-Help Object Purveyor, where you can buy items which have effects on your stats as well as your charisma, and of course any purchases you or your friends do make do go on your Facebook newsfeed, naturally. Also in the game you can get into romantic relationships, or you can choose to work diligently. Um, so there are a number of different strategies by which you can play the game and progress your character. But as a red shirt, whatever it is you choose to do, you need to do it before you meet your ultimate demise. Developers Log Supplemental so I've shown you how Red Shirt's looking so far, but I also wanted to share sort of some of the uh, some of the other iterations the game's gone through as well over the last year. Um, so because it's a very interface-heavy game, a lot of that has been to do with how it looks, but there's lots of other things which were changed as well. So for example, the game used to be in real time at one point, but that didn't really work for several reasons. Um, and also at one point we considered putting 3D models in the game instead of the 2D ones you saw earlier. So I'll be blogging as well in more detail about why some of the bigger decisions were made as the game evolved. In the lead up to the game's release, I'm going to be sharing more videos with you concentrating on more specific parts of the game and sort of how it's been developed um, for any of you who are interested in that part of the process. That's it for this transmission. As a reminder, Redshirt will be available for PC, Mac and iPad. If you have any questions at all about the game, um, how it's been developed or anything else, um, feel free to send a subspace communication. Um, either leave a, um, leave a message on the Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Redshirt game, or you can, um, you can tweet me at Mitu K 
or you can also email at uh, mitu at thetinyearsharp.com. So thanks for tuning in to this transmission um, and see you next time. Thank you.